the supplement of an angle is one third of its length. Let the angle be x. Then the supplement will be supplement will be 180 minus x. It is given in the question that 180 minus x is equal to one third of x. So we get 130 equal to one third of x plus x is equal to 4x by 3. So we get x equal to 180 into 3 by 4 which is equal to 135 degree. So the two angles are angle is equal to 135 and its supplement is equal to 45 degree. Two complementary angles are such that two times the measure of one is equal to three times the measure of the other. So let the two angle be first angle will be x and the other will be 90 minus x. So we can get the equation as 2x is equal to 3 times of the angle other then the other angle will be 90 minus x. By solving this we get 2x is equal to 270 minus 3x. So 5x is equal to 270. So x is equal to 54 degree uh, and the other angle will be 90 minus x which is equal to 36 degree so the larger angle will be 
98 degree 35 minutes 20 second from 180 degree 98 degree 35 minutes 20 second which can be written as 179 degree 59 minutes and 60 second 98 degree 35 minutes and 20 second after subtracting we get the result as 81 degree 24 minutes 40 seconds if two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal prove that the bisector of the two pairs of interior angle includes a triangle means we have to give there are so first of all that we have to make a diagram and the diagram is as there are two parallel lines name the line as A and B C D and there is a transversal so make a transversal and is our transversal E and this is our transversal F uh, so we have to prove that angle bisector of this it is G L M H so what we have given is two parallel line AB and CD and the transversal EF intersecting them at G and H respectively GM and HM GL and HL are the bisector of the two pairs of interior angle what we have to prove we have to prove that GM HL GM HL is a rectangle okay so proof as it is given that it is a transversal so we have angle EGH angle AGH is equal to angle uh, DHG the reason is alternate interior angle alternate interior angle now by dividing both of them with half we get angle HGM is equal to angle GHL thus line GM and HL are intersected by a transversal GH at G and H respectively such that pair of alternate angles are equal so HGM is equal to GHL if HGM is equal to GHL then we can say that GM is parallel to HL so from here we can write it down as GMP is parallel to HL similarly we can produce G we can prove that GL is parallel to HM for the other pair of alternate interior angle we can prove that GL is parallel to HM so GM GL is parallel to HM so we can say that if both pair of a both pair of a quadrilateral are parallel if then we can say that GMHL is a parallelogram GMHL is a parallelogram and if GH, GMHL is a parallelogram so we can write it down as AB is parallel to CD and EF is a transversal we know that AB is parallel to CD and EF is a transversal so we can write it down as angle BGH plus angle DHG is equal to 180 degree so half of angle BGH plus half of angle DHG is equal to 
half of 180 degree which is equal to 90 degree so we can write it down as angle L G H plus angle L H G is equal to 90 degree and we know that uh, angle L G H plus angle L H G plus angle H L G is equal to 180 degree so from this we can write it down as angle H L G is equal to 90 degree thus in a parallelogram G M H L we have angle H L G is equal to 90 degree hence G M H L is a rectangle now in the next question if x plus y is equal to w plus z then prove that a o b is a straight line so for that we are what we have given is we are given that x plus y is equal to w plus z and we know that x plus y plus w plus z equal to 360 degree so from this we can write it down as twice of x plus y is equal to 360 degree so x plus y is equal to 180 degree hence we can say that AOB is a straight line now from uh, now in the next question we have in the diagram AB is equal to AD and which is equal to BD which is equal to DC then find the value of angle X here we know that angle DBC is also equal to X D AB is equal to AD which is equal to BD which is equal to DC and if this is angle X then we know that this is also equal to X degree so we can write it down as if this is X degree and this is X degree then we can write it down as 2X if this is 2X then we can write it down as 2X and if this is 2X then we can write it down as 2X degree so we know that in a tri in a triangle sum of all the angle is 180 degree so 2x plus 2x plus 2x is equal to 180 degree so 6x equal to 180 degree so x is equal to 30 degree which is our required answer in the figure COD finds angle COD when AOC plus BOD is equal to 100 degree so we know that uh, linear angle in a same straight line is equal to 180 degrees so we can write it down as angle AOC plus angle COD plus angle DOB is equal to 180 degree and we are given that angle AOC plus BOD is equal to 100 degrees so, so from here we can write it down as angle 100 plus angle COD is equal to 180 degree so angle COD is equal to 180 minus 100 which is equal to 80 degree which is our required answer in the next question we have angle x is to y is to z is equal to 5 is to 4 is to x if x to y is a straight line find the value of x y z we know that if x is to y is to z is x is to y is to z is equal to 5 is to sorry 5 is to 4 is to 6 then we can say that angle x is equal to 5 a degree angle y is equal to 4 a degree and angle z equal to 6 a degree so we can add, write it down again angle in the same straight line is equal to 180 degree so x plus y plus z equal to 180 degree 
फाइव ए प्लस फोर ए डिग्री प्लस सिक्स ए डिग्री इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री विच इज फाइव ए प्लस फोर ए प्लस सिक्स ए इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन ए इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री सो ए इज इक्वल टू वन एटी बाई फिफ्टीन विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व डिग्री सो फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन गेट इट डाउन एस एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव ए विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी वाई इक्वल टू फोर ए विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट एंड जेड इक्वल टू सिक्स ए विच इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी टू डिग्री इन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द गिवन फिगर ए बी इज द मिरर ए बी इज द मिरर पी ओ इज द इंसिडेंट रे एंड ओ आर इज द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे एंगल पी ओ आर इज इक्वल टू वन वन ट्वेल्व एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड एंगल पी ओ ए सो हियर वी यूज अ प्रॉपर्टी विच इज यूज इन फिजिक्स दैट एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन हियर एंगल पी ओ इज द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंड एंगल आर ओ बी इज द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सो एंगल पी ओ ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल आर ओ बी सो वी कैन से दैट एंगल जस्ट मेक द डायग्राम पी ए बी आर दिस इज एंगल वन वन ट्वेल्व दिस इज एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस दिस इज एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सो एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज इक्वल टू एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सो वी कैन राइट इट डाउन एज एंगल इज इन अ सेम स्ट्रेट लाइन इज वन एटी डिग्री सो एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस प्लस वन वन ट्वेल्व डिग्री प्लस एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री सो एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस प्लस एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री वन एटी माइनस वन वन ट्वेल्व वन एटी माइनस वन वन ट्वेल्व एंड वी नो दैट एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज इक्वल टू एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सो वी कैन राइट इट डाउन एस टू आइस ऑफ एंगल इंसिडेंस इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एट डिग्री सो वी कैन राइट इट डाउन एस एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एट बाई टू विच इज नथिंग बट थर्टी फोर डिग्री विच इज अवर रिक्वायर्ड आंसर थैंक यू